ever since the year six, that's a long way back, ever since the year six, six AD, when the Roman army began to occupy Judea, the Jewish people were obliged, every man, woman, and slave between the ages of 14 and 57, I believe it is, to pay a tax, which amounted to something like a day's wage, to the Roman Empire so that the Roman Empire wouldn't destroy them. Pay Don't pay the tax, Bye-bye. end of peace, and they're destroyed. Pay the tax, and they allow you to live, but with their army residing in your homeland. And the tax was paid with Roman currency, which is not what the Jewish people used. They didn't use Roman currency because Roman currency had engraved upon them the image of Tiberius Caesar. And to use that currency meant that they would be in violation of the commandment to use graven images. And yet they had to pay this tax with Roman currency. So in posing this question to Jesus, the Pharisees and the Herodians think that they have put an end to him. For if he says it's not lawful to pay the tax, then the Romans would arrest, condemn, and execute him on the grounds of committing treason and inciting a rebellion. And thus, he loses. And if he says it is lawful to pay the tax, then he'd lose his following. For he would be considered to be a traitor to his homeland and a sellout to the Romans, and he loses again. So what does Jesus do? (laughs) Jesus asks for the coin to be brought to him. And he asks whose image is on the coin. And they answer, as we heard, Caesar's. And Jesus' response, in essence, is then because this coin, which was minted by Caesar and has his image on it, belongs rightfully to Caesar, give it back to him. It's his property. Enjoy that. But he didn't stop there. For he went on to say to the Pharisees and to the Herodians and to you and to me this morning, and give to God what belongs to God. What does that mean? Well, because the coin has engraved...